This is a program called Earth Null School that Paul Beckwith, a client, climate expert, turned me on to. Um, it explains weather and the jet stream and how climate change has impacted those things. The jet stream lives at 250 hectopascals. And we're going to take a look at that by going to Earth Null School right now. Click on that. Um, and the earth pops up. You can move the earth around, find out where you are. I'm in Washington State, right about there, and go to the menu, and we can pick different layers, ocean, chemistry, particulates, space, but we want to look at the atmosphere, so select air, and then make your way to the 250 hectopascals button, and then the jet stream will pop up in red. It's much more wavy these days due to anthropogenic climate change. Above the jet stream is cold air. Below it is warm, moist air, and as the Arctic equilibrates with the uh, equatorial temps, it's fragmenting the jet stream, and that is having a big impact on steering currents and our weather. For example, here's the wavy pattern. Let's take that away. You can see it dip right around the Great Lakes, and that area is experiencing dry, colder air. Here's where it's cold and dry, and below is where it's uh, warm and moist. As an example, during the Sochi Olympics in Russia a few years ago, it was colder in Florida than it was in Russia because a polar vortex had dipped down and engulfed Florida, so they had freezing temperatures. Here's a polar vortex graphic 